This video will show you how to clean, use, and maintain the Aqualab pocket and light. Both the pocket and the light were designed to be portable water activity meters to get quick water activity readings. It is important to know that these instruments were not designed for use in a lab, quality control, or a research and development setting. This is because of the accuracy of these instruments and other limitations. The light measures water activity to within plus or minus 0.015 water activity accuracy, and the pocket measures to 0.02. The light and the pocket use capacitance sensors, which are not the most accurate sensors for measuring water activity. The most accurate method for measuring water activity is the chilled mirror dew point method. We have a variety of other instruments that use this technology. These instruments also have temperature calibration, which the pocket and light do not have. Since water activity is temperature dependent, taking readings at a consistent starting temperature is extremely important. If both the instrument and the sample are at ambient temperature, then you shouldn't have any problems. If the temperature of your facility changes frequently, then you could have problems with temperature. If you think you should be using a more accurate instrument, or you are interested in not having to account for temperature by having an instrument with temperature calibration, please email us at sales at aqualab.com so we can discuss your options and maybe help you trade in your instrument. To clean your pocket or light, first you moisten the large Kim wipes from the cleaning kit with the cleaning solution in the bottles with white lids. You can use the large Kim wipes for most surfaces. However, use Kim wipe strips to clean the thermal pile. When you wrap the Kim wipe strip onto the plastic rod, make sure you cover the tip so it can't scratch the thermal pile. Wash the surface of the chamber. Make sure you do not moisten the sensor filter. If the filter ever becomes contaminated, it will need to be replaced. To replace a filter, you simply use tweezers or an X-Acto knife to remove. Be careful to not damage the sensor beneath the filter. Do not touch or clean the sensor. Simply remove the filter and replace. The filter should fit perfectly over the sensor and does not need adhesive to stay in place. Make sure your hands are clean when replacing the filter. After washing the surface of the chamber, moisten a Kim wipe with distilled water from a bottle in the cleaning kit with a blue lid and rinse all surfaces. Remember to avoid the filter. Then with a dry Kim wipe, dry the surface of the chamber and make sure no residual moisture remains. The most important things to remember during the cleaning process is to wash, rinse, and dry your instrument. After cleaning and before testing product, you need to verify your instrument with two verification standards. With the pocket and the light, there are only three verification standards out of the six we sell that you should use. The three standards are the .920, the .760, and the .250. You always want to use the .760 standard first, no matter what you are testing. You break open a vial of the .760 and pour it into a sample cup. If you have the pocket, you place the pocket over the sample. If you have the light, you place the sample cup inside the light. If the .760 standard measures between .74 and .78 in the pocket, it is measuring within spec and you can move on to the second standard. If you are going to test a product with a low water activity, then you want to use the .250 standard for the second verification. If you are testing a product with a high water activity like jerky in the .800 range, you want to use the .920 standard for the second verification. Locate a vial of the second standard you are going to use, break open the vial, pour it into a sample cup, and if you are using the pocket, place the instrument above the sample to test. In this case, we use the .920 standard. If it measures anywhere between .90 and .94, then we know that it measured within spec because the accuracy of the pocket is to plus or minus 0 0.02.